So hi there, welcome back. Hope everyone's staying safe away from the coronavirus um, or COVID-19 as they call it. Um, I'm good and today I've just completed week eight of Marguerite Miller's um, five prompt challenge. So this week we've got a personal people, number two is bubbles, three is a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle, four is text in a language not in English or your native language, five is a sticker from a fruit or vegetable from your grocery store, and the bonus is the next noun you hear someone saying in any form. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to glue down some really, 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 really old Italian paper that I got from my sister. Um, can't remember what year it is, right? She might be able to tell me. Um, and so for me, it's an Italian that is a text in another language. Um, I just have to say in this video, apologies. I stick my head under the camera multiple times. Um, it might get a bit annoying, but I tried to chop a bit out when I went, went too far under, but it's going to happen. So you just have to bear with it. Okay, so um, I'm just starting off with the base layer. Um, yep, so just trimming off the edges to fit the paper. Um, and I'm going to play around with some of the base base uh, papers that I want to put down. I was going to say fabrics, but I mean papers. Um, so it's been a pretty hectic last week for me. I'm a teacher in Australia. I think I've already said that. And uh, we are currently still working, although um, almost no kids are at school. Um, I'm, I'm mostly getting lessons with no kids and we're doing it all online, like via Zoom video conferencing and online lessons. Or um, I might occasionally get one or maybe two kids at the most in my class. Um, so this is our last week of uh, holidays before, uh, our last week of term before we go on holidays. Uh, we'll break up on Thursday ready for Easter on Friday. Um, a little bit crazy. So many things have been shut down in Australia, um, but the government hasn't actually shut down schools in my state, at least. Some of the other states have decided that they'll shut. Um, they were closer to holidays than we were, but when the decisions were being made, we were still three weeks out. So they've kept us on. So I'm pretty much going to work every day. My son's staying home and working from home on the online classes. None of his mates are at school. Um, so he's staying home and he's coping with it really well. But it's been a super busy week. I've had a lot of assessment tasks that I had to mark, about 160 tasks last week, which was insane. Uh, gave me a headache. <laughs> and um, then I've had some reports and stuff like that to do. So it's been a very busy end of term, but we're starting to wind down the last few days. Um, so I've just stuck down a really pretty bird. That, that was from an old... Um, sewing magazine I, i've been holding on to that for a long time longer than i've been journaling um and always wanted to put it somewhere so finally i've been able to stick it somewhere where i'll be able to keep it i just think it's a really pretty cross stitch pattern um the little piece of paper i'm sticking down now is from a 1950s it's kind of like a newspaper it's almost like a cross between a very large magazine and a newspaper another another um thing that rachel gave me for christmas and the crossword is also in italian and that came from the same place so i've i've covered the uh language other than english um several times by putting a bit of italian on there um and also there's people in that um ad so I've, I've covered the people as well though i will add some more which you'll see coming up so i'm just playing around these flowers um i've been finding a lot on the biodiversity heritage library is the correct name for it which is on Flickr. i put a link to that in um, my last video i can put it in again um, most of the images that i've looked at so far and there are thousands are um uh, in the public domain so it says that you're allowed to use them for whatever you want um, so I've actually uh, so I've been going through it quite a bit over the last sort of week or so and saving a lot of really beautiful images so lots of flowers and um, 
bugs, birds, animals, gardens, that kind of thing. They're really beautiful, mostly from the early 1900s back into the 1800s, even possibly some are a bit earlier. Um, so I thought this is a pretty, pretty arrangement. I'm doing lots of pinky colours, pinky, bit of purple, and shortly I will pop in some, um, some sort of aquary kind of tones as well. So I'll just let you watch for a little, bo little while and I'll come back and um, explain a bit more soon. Okay, see ya. Okay, so I'm back and I'm starting to play around um, a bit more with a few bits and pieces that I've fussy cut. Um, this little um, pink florally pattern thing I'm about to stick down is a um, from some digital um, wallpaper that I got um, on Etsy. I'll put a link down the bottom. I bought a few wallpapers from this girl. She's got some beautiful stuff. So I'll, I'll add a link down the bottom if you're interested in finding some wallpaper as well. Um, again, another floral from the um, uh, the Biodiversity uh, Heritage Library, which I'll stick down as well, some beautiful geraniums. And this little pocket here I got from Jenny Mae June. Um, she's on um, Instagram and also on YouTube. Although Jenny, you don't do too many videos, but I love following you on Instagram. Um, and I got a little mixed paper pack from her. Um, so I'm going to use that as a little pocket to put my card in, which is just a Tim Holtz card that I've written down the prompts for this week. Um, also this um, uh, digital embroidery I got from um, Little Bindi, also known as um, Johanna. Um, she's an Australian girl who has lots of beautiful um, vintage um, doily embroideries that you can buy digitals of on her Etsy so I'll put a few links down the bottom um, just in case you want any of the to find any of the things that I've got um, so just gluing down um, this flower as well as you can see I've got a bit of pink on the page again Today I'm going to add in some um, pops of brighter pink as well because my favourite colour is definitely neon pink. Um, so I'm going to put a few pops of brighter colours. And I've got a few metallics in that washi tape I've put down the bottom. It's a metallic pink um, stripe and um, you'll see some more metallics coming up soon as well. So I'll just let you watch again for a little while. Enjoy.
um, this is another personal people. This pretty lady, she looks like she's from about, I don't know, maybe a dress from the 1950s or even into the 60s. Um, came from a one of those, um, you know, those pattern packs where you get patterns to make clothes. Um, I've got quite a few old ones. I love collecting them. Not because I'm ever going to make the clothes, but because I like the images on the front of them and, and also the paper I like using in my collaging and journaling. Um, so I'm just starting to add um, some embellishments. Um, this is going to be my fruit sticker. It's not really a sticker, but it's based on the sticker. So this is a sticker that we get from our apples here. Um, in Australia, not too far from Sydney, we have a place called Batlow, which is really famous for their apples. And in our um, January, January sort of fires, Batlow apparently was absolutely devastated by the fires and a lot of the orchards burnt down. Um, so this is my little tribute to Batlow. Um, I, I decided to just watercolour paint their sticker in a larger format. I thought it, I've, I've dialed down the tones a little bit. I thought it was a bit prettier than having um, a very bright plastic sticker stuck on my page somewhere. Um, and now these, these um, gold shimmery glittery dots are supposed to represent my bubbles. I couldn't think of how to do bubbles so I just I decided to add some metallic and I cut out um, these little dots actually from tissue paper and I'm using them as my bubbles so just a bit of embellishment going on All right, and here's my word. So I was um, pulling pieces, bits and pieces together for this page whilst I was listening to TV earlier and I was watching a show um, called House Rules, which is like one of those reno shows where you have couples that renovate. And the host um, talk, said the word cash. So that's going to be my noun that I've heard. A um, bit random, doesn't particularly go with the page, but... Um, I decided to go with it because that's the noun that I heard when I was um, coming up to that prompt. So um, what I've done with this, I've cut the letters out of, it's just like copy paper, but I stuck washi tape over the top of it. And I've added in um, some pops of neon and also there's some metallics on the A and the H. Um, so uh, just you know to give it a few pops of color and metallic which i'm liking on this page something different and i'm just going to outline the letters just because i think they didn't stand out quite enough so i'm just drawing a black line just on the inner edge of each letter um with these letters i literally just uh freehand cut them i had to do the h twice because i did it backwards the first time or actually the correct way which made it backwards when i stuck it down um, and my son laughed at me, so I had to redo it. Um, all right, enjoy the rest.